All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sis, you too, it's Pastor Dow. Um, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, that, that's pretty much what our government is, they're entrepreneurs, but you have to understand, uh, all of their entrepreneurship, if I can use that word, it comes at the expense of us, the people. I'm trying my best to get this over to our heads, through our thick heads. You have got to get out of, un, out from under any type of control that the government has placed us all up under. And I know that it's almost impossible to get totally, totally out from under control, but it, it is a possibility um, as long as you continue to make little strides and little steps here and there. All you people that are in the 401ks, you know, I just heard two commercials back to back uh, trying to entice people to, to put their trust and hope in a 401k. Don't, don't you buy it and don't you believe it one minute? Listen to me. If your money or your life savings, if it is not in your hand, it's not yours. Oh, you may have access to it. And they may promise you access to it at a later time. But it really truly is not yours. You know, I got two thoughts going on in my head right now. Let me try this one right here. Today, we become so untrustworthy as a people that we cannot and I mean we cannot settle disputes among ourselves we've always got to have some type of third party arbitrator in, in everything that we do um, we have to go to the lawyer to make sure that other people are doing right because the lawyer is going to use the force of the law and the reason why we do that is because men are inherently unrighteous and they can't be trusted and that's the reason why we use the system, because the system will force us physically, naturally, to do what we otherwise could not depend upon the so-called, quote-unquote, benevolence of, of men to do. And it's just a sad situation, because it, it is the truth. Um, and so there we are again, find ourselves snared, because people are basically untrustworthy. I mean, it's just, it's just a sad thing. You can't depend on men to do right, so they have to be forced. Now, back over to 401k. They're trying to entice people to continue to keep investing in the 401k. And you have to understand, in other countries, people who have trusted in these type of investments that uh, where they're in the scope of or where the government can always uh, actually go in to your retirement account and take from it, uh, it's all electronic. Remember, everything is electronic now. Um, you can't trust it. You don't want to put your life savings, your retirement in under anybody's control but your own. Change your mind about being enticed to invest in a 401k knowing that it's going to be robbed. It's going to be robbed by your country. Um, I mean, after all, you look, every, all their answers to everything is to raise the taxes, raise the taxes, raise the taxes, raise the taxes. Uh, not knowing. I mean, and I, we got two different schools of thought. I, I'm of the mindset, you, you cut taxes, you lower taxes. Uh, extremely, so to put more money into the economy, and then that in itself will create more jobs. But the government don't think like that. The government only thinks from a take point of view, and and in their taking, they have the mindset that you and I are fortunate to be living on the king's land, and so we should pay what we we should pay, uh, and be thankful for paying for living on the king's land because he's letting us live on the land. That's the mindset that they have. Not that all your labors belong to you. Uh, they, they, they have the mindset you're fortunate to be living here. So pay your taxes. And if we want all your money for taxes, then you pay that too. Uh, we don't care if you can't make ends meet. You don't have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, and food in your mouth. We don't care about all that um, because government is playing God. Uh, and you people got to understand, you got to change your mindset. Get your money. My personal advice, my personal advice is anything that is under control of the scope of the government. Banking, uh, 401ks, IRAs, mutual funds, stocks, bonds, all this other stuff. Anything that has to do with paper, get out of and preserve yourself because you can see that the way that these idiots thinking today, they're not thinking about the preservation of our future. They're only thinking about... Uh, the gutting of this country and that's just the reality and it's just the truth and it's the truth straight way i hope you wake up i hope you don't believe none of these silly stupid commercials is trying to get you to put your labels you go out here and work for paper 
go go put it into something real real estate um building materials food precious metals um uh, forget forget about these commodities that ain't that ain't real i mean just learn how to farm man learn how to grow uh, best investment that there is and 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 invest in some true knowledge for yourself anyway i hope i've said something i know i rambled but i hope i said something somebody out there man because they're deceiving us no doubt about it they're deceiving us uh the other day uh merkel uh, uh the chancellor of germany what we would call normally a president called up Barack Hussein Obama uh, left a message saying that man, hey you Americans been spying on us now mind you this is the same country that we won't give them back their gold until 2020 and Barack Hussein Obama said look at this America is not spying on you nor will we be spying on you all that sounds good don't it you have to understand the speech of politicians. He never did admit, are you listening, to saying that America has never spied on you. And of course, she's a politician. They know the games, the silly words that they play. It's a chess match. It's all about strategy. America's in more. America's spying on everybody, Germany. There's, we're spying on the whole entire world. Uh, and then as soon as we get somebody inside of our government, it's called a whistleblower. First thing we want to do is try them for treason. And when we got our whole entire Congress up here that should be tried for treason. Treason against the American people. Uh, but see, it's, it's, it's about the powers that be. Them moving and shaking and making up the rules and the laws and the regulations as they go. Yeah, we've been spying on you. Yeah, we have been spying on you. See the difference? There's a difference with him answering, America is not spying on you, nor will we be spying on you. You hear that? He didn't admit, dude. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we have spied on you in the past, uh, but but we're not doing it now. But see, he's not going to say that because it's all about strategy. It's a chess game. Learn how these deceitful, double-tongued serpent, twist, four, two, four liars discern and do things. Because all that nature, whether we all like it or not, it's in us. And it's us discerning and knowing that is there and the potential is there that we can actually do something about perfecting ourselves. Y'all have a good day. King coming.